Hello friends. In the previous episodes, we have learned much about reproduction. There is a special mechanism that has been evolved with advanced technology in producing animals which are similar to their parents called as cloning. So in today's episode, we will study about cloning. Cloning is the production of exact copy of the cell or any other living part or a complete organism. By asexual reproduction, an organism creates a genetically similar or identical copy of itself. Daughter cells or organisms thus produced from single parent are called clones. Clones are organisms that are exact genetic copies. Every single bit of their DNA is identical. How is cloning done? Somatic cell nuclear transfer is the process. It is called as SCNT. It is also called as nuclear transfer and uses a different approach than artificial embryo twinning. But it produces the same result. An exact genetic copy or clone of an individual. This was the method used to create Dolly the sheep. Where else do we get same exact genetic copy of two individuals? This happens in unizygotic twins. After fertilization, at the time of cleavage, the two cells that are formed we have studied in embryogenesis the cleavage which results in two cells. If the two cells get separated, the two individuals that are formed are genetically alike. But we do not call them as clones. We call them as unizygotic twins. They also share the same genetic makeup. Now coming back to the cloning, the somatic cell. A somatic cell is any cell in the body other than sperm or egg. The two types of reproductive cells. Reproductive cells are also called germ cells. In mammals, every somatic cell has two complete sets of chromosomes, whereas the germ cells have only one complete set, that is haploid number of chromosomes that is having only 23 chromosomes whereas the somatic cells have 23 pairs of chromosomes. Transfer. How do we transfer? To make Dolly, researchers isolated a somatic cell from udder. Udder is the mammary gland, the breast of an adult female sheep. The nucleus is removed from an egg cell. Then, the nucleus from the somatic cell is transferred to the egg cell. After a couple of chemical tweaks, the egg cell with its new nucleus was behaving just like a freshly fertilized egg. It developed into an embryo which was implanted into the surrogate mother and the surrogate mother carried complete term, nothing but gestation period. The lamb or dolly was an exact genetical replica of the adult sheep that donated the somatic cell. She did not carry any characters of the egg cell or the parent from whom the egg was taken. She was the first ever mammal to be cloned from an adult somatic cell. Let us go into details of the process of cloning. A cell was collected from mammary gland of a female fin dorset sheep. An egg was obtained from a Scottish 
blackface eve the nucleus was removed from the egg then the nucleus of the mammary gland cell from the fin dorset sheep was introduced into the egg of scottish blackface eve whose nucleus has already been removed the egg thus produced was implanted into scottish blackface eve why did we select the egg the somatic cells cannot transform into an embryo the necessary material is present in the cytoplasm of the egg that is the reason why the egg was taken into which the nucleus of the dorset sheep is introduced the development of this egg followed normally and thus dolly was born result though dolly was given birth by a scottish blackface eve it was found to be absolutely identical to the fin dorset sheep from which the nucleus was taken since the nucleus from the egg of the scottish blackface eve was removed dolly did not show any characters of the scottish blackface eve dolly was a healthy clone of the fin dorset sheep and produced several offspring of her own through normal sexual means scientist who is successful in producing dolly and later on led to lot of discoveries ian wilmot and his colleagues performed cloning for the first time at roslin institute of edinburgh they cloned a sheep named dolly dolly was born on 5th july 1996 and was the successful mammal to be cloned successfully dolly died on 14th february 2003 due to certain lung disease since dolly several attempts have been made to produce cloned mammals however benny die before birth or soon after birth the cloned animals are many a time found to be born with severe abnormalities advantages of cloning in 2007 primate embryonic cells created by somatic cell transfer on rhesus monkey researchers took a cell from adult monkey and fused it with an enucleated egg cell enucleated means the nucleus is removed from the egg cell the process is more or less same like the production of dolly the embryo was allowed to develop for a time outside the female body then its cells were grown in a culture dish because they can differentiate to form any cell type or called embryonic stem cells this experiment showed that nuclear transfer in a primate which researchers have tried for years without success was possible it opened the door to possibility of human therapeutic cloning creating individual specific stem cells that could be used to treat or study diseases this is a wonderful discovery which is helping worldwide for treating and finding treatment for various genetically inherited diseases thank you